Hello, Supreme Bacon Overlord here, bringing you another video. In this video, I'll be discussing two games that offer a virtual reality kayaking experience. Yes, I'm talking about that banana-shaped boat you paddle around in raging rivers, hoping you do not become an all-you-can-eat buffet for the fish, sharks, or even alligators that inhabit these sometimes treacherous waters. These two games are Kayak VR Mirage and Whitewater Extreme Kayaking VR Adventure. Whew, can't believe I said that whole sentence in one take. Both of these games, not gonna lie, have odd names. Mirage. Why the word Mirage? We know what you are looking at is not real. It's fabricated. Am I gonna sit and paddle around on a kayak wondering if it even exists? or if it's just a figment of my imagination. Is this water real? Can I drink it if I start dehydrating? Or am I just hallucinating? Am I actually kayaking? Or did my headset just turn into a screensaver? Let's not forget about Whitewater VR Extreme Kayaking Adventure. Not gonna lie, the name does bring attention to the game. And yes, it's clever, but man, it's freaking long. That title has more words than I have paddling skills. It's like they took every action packed word and squeezed it into the title of this game. It's like they are trying to appeal to the adrenaline rush crowd of the 90s. You gotta try this. Are you searching for that next adrenaline rush? Well, here it is. Buy the game. So first off, this is just my opinion. And ultimately, what it really comes down to is what you want out of the game. Both of these games are available for the PC, and only Kayak VR Mirage is available on PlayStation VR 2. But if you're using a standalone headset like the Quest 2, Quest 3, or the HTC Vive XR Elite, or even one of the Pico headsets like Pico 3 or Pico 4, you can still play these games, but you will need to connect your headset to a decently powered PC, wireless, or with a high quality USB cable. For those who are curious, you can use those staff-like controller extensions to mimic a real-life kayak paddle in both of the games. Or you can attach your controllers to either end of a pole to simulate the actual paddle. Now, Whitewater VR Extreme had a sloppy release. At least for me, it was a little buggy when I first played it. So I waited till they fixed some of the issues, which to their credit, they did. So, we'll start with the game that got released to the masses first. Kayak VR. Mirage. Some of the good points for this game, obviously, the jaw dropping and beautiful graphics. A VR journey through locations tailor made for kayaking, and it has a very relaxing, zen like experience when you play in free roam mode. The game features both racing and the free roam mode for the more relaxing exploration experience. It offers stunning visuals and includes many real world locations. It's great for kayaking enthusiasts and fitness though it mostly focuses on your arms and upper body. You can play this game seated or standing. Some cons include there's no multiplayer mode even though it seems like there are other people in the racing mode. This is likely similar to how FitXR operates using pre-recorded runs from other players who have gone through the levels in single player mode. Another downside is that the game can start to feel repetitive after the initial wow factor wears off, but that might depend on what you're looking to get out of it, obviously. There are only a few levels, although they do look nice and impressive. They did release a new level recently, but it'll cost you $7.99. $7.99. I haven't tried out the new level. I haven't tried it out yet. So the overall perspective of this game to me, it truly feels like you're out on the water just as if you're actually kayaking but without the stress of pushing forward 
or backwards with your trusty paddle. I like that the paddle collides with the boat and it doesn't clip through. It feels like you're really floating, slowly bouncing up and down as you sail through the water. I've only been on a boat a handful of times and from what I remember the movement does look real. This game lets you play each level at day or even at night and even with rain as well for both day and nights. Although on some of the levels if you choose nighttime with rain be aware it's very hard to see. I've never been kayaking so I don't have anything to compare it to but I can say that it really does feel like you're gliding and floating through water. The flow of the water looks very realistic. So now we're going to talk about Whitewater VR Extreme Kayaking Adventure. So this game was first released in April of this year, late April I believe, and it doesn't have as many reviews or garner as much attention as Kayak VR Mirage. It's also a physics based kayaking game, just like Mirage, the game has some excellent graphics realistic water simulation and online leaderboards, then there's the fast-paced adrenaline-fueled mayhem. Well, in reality, it's just a little bit faster than uh, Kayak VR Mirage, but you do have to maneuver a little more. You go up and down the rapids, so it does feel a little bit more exciting than Kayak VR Mirage, definitely. A few cons for this game, there's no multiplayer mode, and no race mode. It has very few levels. The paddle as you're swinging it feels a little too light and flimsy. The water movement at times doesn't look quite real but on rare occasions. So physics, as far as physics on both games, Kayak VR Mirage has the edge. The rowing feels a bit more realistic in Kayak VR Mirage. You crash into rocks that feels better in Mirage. The movements feel pretty solid even though you're not really swinging a paddle around. Even though gameplay mechanics is pretty solid on both games, I still have to give the edge to uh, Kayak VR Mirage. You can play seated or standing on both games, but if you play standing up on Whitewater, you have to crouch a little, which makes my back hurt. You will have to tinker with the height a bit to get it right though. I'm 5'11", so for some reason I had to set it to 20 centimeters. On Kayak VR Mirage, you just jump in and you can play seated or standing without changing anything. I play all games standing up, even like driving games, because I sit around all day while working, which really sucks, so standing really helps, and it's the main reason why I rarely play flat games nowadays. There is no free roam mode on Whitewater VR. It does have a free roam mode, but technically you can only navigate forward through a fixed route. It doesn't have the wide open areas that Mirage has. It does have a mode where you have to hit checkpoints and even on easy mode it's very hard for me. But generally speaking, even with regular racing games, I suck at these type of game modes. Even though the rowing feels light and flimsy compared to Kayak VR, you get past that after a while and don't really think about it much and this is with Whitewater. Kayak VR lets you change the weather, you have day and night options, you can play through rain, while Whitewater uh, you can't really change those options. With both games it's very easy to get stuck on the rocks. It's a little easier to get unstuck in Whitewater compared to Kayak VR. Both games have animals, but Mirage has a more variety and they definitely do look better. The movement of the kayak feels good on both games overall. With Whitewater VR, you can steer left and right by tilting your head to the side you want to move, making the steering a little bit better, especially when making sharp turns. With Whitewater, you go right up and down rapids and it's a little bit more fast paced almost like a roller coaster but slower of course because you're uh, going through water so white water is a bit more on the extreme side well it feels a little bit more challenging and fun to play it has a arcade like feeling to it there's not a lot of content 
on either of these games, both of them have like four or five levels, can buy a DLC pack for $7.99 on Kayak VR Mirage. And with Whitewater, they said they will have new environments down the line, which will also be paid DLC. Even though Kayak VR Mirage has the better physics and more realistic movement, I find myself playing Whitewater Extreme VR kayaking adventure a lot more. And I think it's because it, of its arcade-like feeling. And the maneuvering, of course, is a little easier. And I kind of feel like since you lean side to side, you get more of a workout. So you'll probably burn more calories if you're the type of person that is uh, looking to get a work out of, it, out of either of these games. So some comments I read on uh, some of these reviews from the Steam store for Kayak VR, the reviews are very positive. Everyone is praising the immersion you get out of the game. It feels very realistic from top to bottom. Of course, everyone is praising its graphics, which is obvious. That's the first thing that pops out at you when you first play the game and you look at previews of the game. Uh, negative reviews for Kayak VR. Mostly everyone complaining about the lack of content. The game feels repetitive and after you get over the wow factor, there's really not much you can do in this game. To be fair, this is more of a sightseeing game because of how detailed everything looks. For whitewater kayaking, the reviews are also very positive as well on the Steam store. The positive reviews, people are pleased with the game mechanics and graphics, but even on the positive reviews, uh, it was borderline recommended. While the negative reviews mention that the game mechanics are flimsy, not many levels, and the game is buggy. But to be fair, these are from when the f game first came out. There hasn't been that many recent reviews on this game. And some of the bugs were fixed. The game does not have as many reviews as the Mirage game does. But the Mirage game has been around for uh, two years more or less. Kayak VR Mirage is $22.99 on the Steam store. And Whitewater is $19.99 for the game. So pretty close range as far as uh, price goes. So which game is better? Which game is the better game? I think it really depends on what you want. Both games will give you a decent workout. So the harder you paddle, the more calories you'll burn and the higher your heart rate will be. If you go by looks, Kayak VR Mirage is up to par with any triple A game out there. So yeah, it can compete with the big boy companies when it comes to graphics and gameplay mechanics. While Whitewater looks good, the gameplay, it does have a simplistic feel to it. The arcade and adventure style of the game is what keeps me coming back. So for me, I found myself playing Whitewater VR Extreme Kayaking Adventure a bit more. I stopped playing Kayak VR Mirage after two weeks. With Whitewater VR, it was a, a little bit more, more or less. I played it for two and a half to three weeks, but I still come back to it every now and then. So for me, I give Whitewater the slight edge over Kayak VR Mirage. Obviously down the line that might change so like if uh, Kayak VR Mirage if they release uh, DLC packs where the levels are a bit more exciting you know you go up and down like a roller coaster then uh, I would definitely switch over to Kayak VR. Also it's gonna come down to how many levels each game will release which one will have the most content and I don't know if I'm going to want to spend extra money for these levels. I probably would want to see uh, videos of somebody playing these levels before I buy them. So there's that too. I'm not sure if I'll buy extra levels if they're going to be $7.99 each. Ultimately though, it's really going to come down to what you want out of a kayaking game in general. That's just pretty much what it comes down to. I don't know if any of these games will be ported out to the Quest platform or like the Pico platform, but obviously if they manage to do so, 
I'm pretty sure the graphics will not look as good as compared to the PC version. Let's get it.